Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and you are welcome to the part 4. Am I even correct about doing part 4? Yeah, I think part 4 of how to design better carousels inside of Canva. And in this particular video, we are going to be talking about call to actions. And the reason why this is a very important thing to talk about is after you are done designing your carousels, okay, you need to give your readers or your audience, you know, an idea of what to do next, okay, and that's when call to actions come in place. So it's basically going to tell them to do one thing, one thing you want them to do. Should they comment? Should they like your post? Should they share it? Whatever you want them to do, that's what you're going to let them know in your call to action. So stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so here we are in our design, what we've been designing so far. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want us to take um, a look at some call to actions from different people. Okay, so that we can have an idea on how we can also design our call to action. So I'll just come here. Okay, and you can see this guy, he's called Lucas. Okay, and he also gets to share about Instagram stuff. And this is his call to action. You can see he gets to post content about Canva um, element. And in the last slide, he just asked him, which one is your favorite? Then he has a little bit of text here saying that save this post and follow for more tips to grow your Instagram. You can see very simple, a photo of him and a question. Very simple. Okay, then we have crystals. You know, he's also one of the popular people on Instagram who also teaches about Instagram. And he also gets to ask a question. He shares whatever he wants to share about. And in his call to action page, he asks a question and says double tap to fix this broken heart. You know, giving people a chance to engage with his content. Okay. And he also has some text over here saying that that was straight out of my ebook, Crafting the Perfect. Okay. So he's also trying to promote his ebook with his call to action so you can see how these things are working over here the third person is dane walker okay and he's also one of the popular people on instagram and you can see his call to action is very simple he also gets to ask a question or tells you to do something right to your one liner below okay so he was talking about um i think it has to do with branding building an emotional brand building a brand that has emotions okay and um, he got he gets to ask a number of questions and tells you now to also write to us then he gives you you know a chance to also engage so if you double click you can see it fills the heart so there's another idea with call to actions and with the last one i have over here it's mine and um, mine is also a very simple one which i have a photo of myself and a question then i get to say consider any of these you know liking commenting sharing and saving and i also get to promote my youtube through my call to action so since we've seen all of these things now there's no need to reinvent the wheel and what i mean by reinventing the wheel is thinking so hard and thinking about something um you know so special to come across something so special to design already these people you know have their call to action and it's been working and learning from them would make it easier okay so i'll be taking you through how to design a call to action and depending on any of these um styles we have over here you can also choose your own style okay so let's go into canva and i'll double click here and i have this so usually with my call to action what i do is i just use my brand color no matter the colors i'm using when it comes to my call to action i love to use my brand color for my call to action okay and let me just copy um my call to action from here then i'll explain how i did everything okay so i copy and i come here and i just paste it over here too so i'll duplicate this page and i'll break everything down so with this call to action the first thing you can see is my image okay and with this once i detach the image you see it was an image of me and i removed the background and i had this grid which we can find here in elements so you come to element and you'd see um yeah frames and you see this grid okay so i selected that and i just dropped my image in the grid you understand and i added this yellow circle and placed my image right on top of it okay so you can see this is all i did then i asked a question and i add the hats okay so this is what i want you to do take a photo of yourself and make sure the background is not too busy so that it's easier to remove the background of your image okay then after you do that you can just bring your image into Canva. if you want to use the style you can do it or if you want to use you know the other styles we have over here for example with um christos or lucas you know they have their full photos on there you can also have it there 
but make sure that with your call to action you are always asking the question or you're always telling people what to do next okay so if it's a book you want to promote you can just say um find the link in my bio you can see tap on the website in my bio to get access you know use it in a more creative way and try as much as possible to use it effectively okay so that people can actually know what you want them to do once they read it and that's um pretty much about call to action and usually it's also good to add the engagement icons okay because we can see from you know the other um, people he has the you know the like hat over here he also has the same thing he doesn't have okay but he is just saying save and follow for more tips to go on instagram so you can see in some or the other he's also telling you to engage with his content okay whether you're liking commenting sharing or saving you are also um engaging and that's the main idea about the call to action so let's create a very different one okay so i'll just click on the plus okay and i'll just copy this image and paste it here okay then i right click and detach my image and i click on this and i delete it so let's say i wanted to use my image but a different style for my call to actions i can reduce my you know my image somewhere here and i'll just move it here okay and i'll increase it a little bit then i can add some text so i can see did you learn anything new okay so i ask a question and i can put you know some one liner thing saying that comment what you learned today okay so with this i'm just giving people an opportunity to engage with my content and that's the main idea of what i'm doing right here okay then what i can also do is to add the icons you know the engagement icon so i can copy okay and paste it here and since normally they are at this portion so i can you know have them here then i can just also add consider one of these okay or consider any of these so that anyone who sees it can also be able to you know comment then i can add a circle and with this circle i can just you know just to add a little bit of um attention i can bring it here so that the attention goes on my face or you can just do anything so this is even a simple call to action design you can use for your content i hope that's really clear and that's straightforward so yes this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video and i hope you've enjoyed every single thing we've done so far from the beginning to now and what i want to say is there's a, a link to a google form okay in the description and with that what you can do is once you go on there you can submit your um your designs okay you can submit the links to your design so that i create special videos and review and tell you how you can improve it and i'll also leave comments in your designs once i do that so yes the name is benjamin and thank you so much for taking the time to go through this um series and i just hope we are all making our lives better thank you and i will see you in my next series